So guys, today we're gonna be switching it up a little bit and I'm going to be talking about why I am a sheepdog and going into overall the, ma the mindset Overall, just going over what it really means to be a sheepdog and why I choose to be a sheepdog. So, before we get into this, as always, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and let's go. Once again, sorry for the patchy lighting, it's just the way nature works. But, like I was saying, today I'm going to be going over why I'm a sheepdog and why I prefer that type of lifestyle. And I think why most people don't like to be sheepdogs or really associate with sheepdogs is because they think of that kind of mentality as only capable of one thing or that it only means one thing and that is basically being a force on force stopper that if you're in a public setting or a public place having a gun being properly prepared to stop force on force we associate sheepdogs with only being a, a protector someone who has a gun to stop another person who's armed and it's basically to protect the people around you and that part is definitely true about being a sheepdog but when you only focus on one element of it it kind of segregates the rest of the reality of being a true sheepdog and of course there are varying levels for every different person and there are some people that may just only ever be that but oftentimes most people only look at being a sheepdog like that and they think of it as too great a responsibility to bear or they think of it as something that they just don't want to do because they don't want to take on the social they don't want to take on the social responsibility of being that to the public in which they are in. Now, of course, sheepdogs, just like the real sheepdogs, do not necessarily go around prowling for an event or for a <coughs> altercation to begin. They're not openly in the malls, perusing, watching, waiting for someone to come in and try and cause harm. That's ultimately not what sheepdog mentality is about. Uh, but once again, it's more really of being a true sheepdog. What it really means is to be of service to the people around you and to be an ultimate assistant to the, the people around you that need you. It means more than just being a armed person who is willing to stop or willing and ready to stop other armed bad people, but it also means that if something has befallen another person that you can help with, something like say you roll up on a car accident, it means being, if you are the first person there, being that person to help get another person out of their vehicle or help with that situation. Being a sheepdog is so much more than just carrying a gun for defensive situations. It means ultimately being there for the public that you're around. Once again, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily driving the streets every single day to see if you can find an accident to make yourself of use. You're ultimately, as a sheepdog, not the EMS or you're not the police where you respond to calls, but rather if you are in a given situation or if you are, say you just witnessed an accident, a car accident, or something like that, it's your responsibility, or at least you take it upon yourself, to go and assist, being that ultimate first responder, the person that's there on ground zero, ultimately helping. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a shooting, it doesn't have to be with firearms, it can even be much more trivial things, such as <coughs> if people are without, <coughs> Or trivial things that are less uh, <clears throat> that are less life-threatening or maybe just as life-threatening in a different way once again a car accident or if you're noticing someone who's drowning that is close to you it means going out there swimming getting them saving them even if it means possibly costing your own life that is ultimately what a sheepdog is there in the society to do is to be the ultimate protector and assistant of uh, the community and of the people around the sheepdog. So now that's the basics 
to being a sheepdog, or what really it, what it means to be a sheepdog or practice that mentality. It also can be things just as simple as being the most prepared person around you to assist. So if someone needs a knife to open a box, you know, providing that knife. If someone needs a pen to write something down, providing that pen. If someone needs the time, for just knowing what time it is, providing that, being that ultimate level of assistance is very basic level, and it's not looking, it's not life threatening. The person could probably go find another pen. They could probably find a way to open that package without the knife, but it just means being of assistance to those around you. And it means being an assistance or assistant of those around you, regardless to the task. I think once again, people only focus on the absolute large task of being an assistant by being armed and having deadly weapons to match those of the aggressor. That still, though, boiled down to the basics is ultimately being an assistant to those around you, protecting them, helping aid in making their lives better, safer, whatever. <clears throat> And so, like I said, we focus often on the really big scale things, but we often forget the really small scale things that ultimately being a sheepdog is really about. And like I said, the core principle of being the sheepdog is more than just having the gun ready to use. It is also having pens, knives, flashlights, all of these things to assist those who are around you. Explaining to or now getting on to why I am a sheepdog. And aside from any religious obligations, obviously in Christianity, there's a large emphasis on being a servant to all people and overall serving the needs of others. Those uh, religious types of obligations. There's also, just in me, has really always been a kind of want to serve for people and overall look out for people. I myself have always wanted to be a very prepared individual, hence why all the guns, knives, flashlights, pens, and all that stuff. <clears throat> and I've always really placed a high value on being overall very prepared for whatever happens to me, but also to not just be a leech on society and just walk around <clears throat> just taking advantage of what society has given, but to give back when I can. Obviously, once again, being a sheepdog does not mean that I go around driving around looking for accidents or sit in malls waiting for shooters. It doesn't mean that I'm preempting or that I'm sitting there ready as a guard, but it means that if I am in a particular moment, which I think these things happen far more frequently to people, then you might realize, but uh, if I am in these situations and I can make the moves to assist, <clears throat> even if it is at the cost of my life, I feel that natural obligation to do so. I always try and make myself as useful as possible to use my preparations such as guns, flash, as guns, pens, knives, all such types of tools to the best of not just my own needs but other people's needs and there's honestly something very satisfying and very fulfilling in helping other people and making their day just that little bit easier once again oftentimes though we focus on the bigger things oftentimes it really is just like providing that pen providing that knife to just do very basic functions but it really helps people's days go better and it can really <clears throat> have a large impact on your community overall when you're able to assist them in different tasks that they need help with. And so being that ultimate assistant is a very, very rewarding thing that I really personally enjoy to do a lot. Now, once again, I realize that not everyone is has the same type of feeling and not everyone wants to get as involved with their community. And so to those people, uh, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with being that way. However, I feel like I should be of more use, especially since I have all the preparations, since I've gone through the time to train with firearms. I've gone through the time to, you know, really invest in high quality guns, knives, uh, pens and stuff. Whenever I can be of use, I try and be of use to other people in that way. Now, obviously, I don't just sit around once again, just being of use to people like sitting there in front of a contact form saying, do you need this pen? Do you need this pen? Obviously, I move on with my life, but it's in that short moment that if there's someone in front of me in line or if there's... <clears throat> 
some way that I can shortly impact and help people, then I'll generally do that. Just how I don't like sit around waiting for shooters, don't drive around waiting for car accidents. Anyways, guys, that's the basic reason to why I'm, or those are the basic reasons to why I'm a sheepdog. And I primarily want to do this just to kind of really explain that being a sheepdog is very multifaceted and a lot of people don't realize that there's so much more to it than just being an armed person or having the training and ability to use a firearm to save other people's lives that's also another principle to it but once again it goes back to that core concept of really just being a assistant to the people who are around you helping your community and being if because we know that not everyone's going to be very prepared being the most prepared we can not just for ourselves not just to save ourselves but also to save those around us or maybe not even just save but just help make their days better or make it a particular task they're trying to accomplish easier once again i'm not going to carry everything that i could possibly utilize in a day or that other people might need during a day on me or in my vehicle but it's carrying very basic tools that are very multi-functional and things that you're probably going to use or that other people might need to use in a day's time so anyways guys hopefully you've enjoyed this nice little look i tried to roll in some shooting footage just for the fun of it and to keep this slightly interesting but like i said the shooting aspect of this or the use use of firearms to defend life is a part of being a sheepdog but it's not the ultimate part and once again day in day out i'm not using my guns to protect people which is kind of a good thing i'm kind of glad i don't necessarily want to have to use guns every single day because that's quite drastic but <clears throat> but I am using things like knives, I am using things such as pens, once again now it's getting darker, using flashlights, using watches to tell time or day and date, and so just really simple things but being a great service to the community around me. And so anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this, that's all for now, God bless and I'm out.